Hi, it's Pam Howell again. We just finished up session two. And as I'm reflecting back on it, I think of the lyrics to Aaron's song. The world is enchanted, lean in closer to see it. I think the whole morning has been that gift to us, an opportunity to lean in closer to see the world God has given us. Nancy gave us a lot to think about, and I appreciated her challenge at the end. Are we becoming people of hope, places of hope? And before we move out of that place, we wanted to give Nancy a few more moments to talk with us. Well, I really think that this is a subject that would be great um, for people to talk over at lunch because uh, we really have to dig down and say, if I am a person of hope, how is that practically lived out, you know, Monday through Friday? And whether or not we were able to write down a name quickly as someone that we're relating to who's outside the family of faith is obviously an individual question. But then we also have to look at our churches and say, if such a person was to wander into our fellowship on Sunday morning or any time during the week, would they find a place where they would feel welcome, accepted? Uh, would they feel safe to ask their questions, no matter what state they're in, no matter where they are on their spiritual journey? What is it about our Sunday experience, as well as what our church is doing in terms of its mission all week long, that either contributes to being a place of hope or makes it known more for a place that's just for those who are already convinced and um, a place where you might feel judged or condemned if you showed up. And I think that that's where we have to get really into the practical piece. And if I would have had more time, that's what I would have tried to dig into. What does it look like to be a person of hope? And what does it look like to actually create a place of hope? And I'm hoping that the conversations and the dialogue the rest of the day, and especially when we get into the afternoon session, um, are going to tease out even more questions for us. Um, we, you know, those of you who are in church communities, which is all of you, you know your community best. You know, you can only. Uh, address what's God's up to in your neighborhood where he has called you to be and so what I would urge you to do is is be ruthless really in your evaluation um, ask yourself the hard questions and and speak in love to one another but just say how could we do this better you know what are we doing right but what also will do we maybe need to change if we were going to be the kind of community we really feel called to be if we're going to be a community that truly does stand by the door and welcome people in and out and um, provide a, a, a place where they can process. So I think that's what I'm hoping will happen um, in conversations over lunch as well as this evening. I think this afternoon is going to create a lot of disequilibrium. I think um, this afternoon is going to raise even more questions when Dan Kimball talks and we look at our churches through the eyes of people outside of it. But if we don't do this, I think we're irresponsible really. I think um, we all have to do this. We're called to do this. We have to be sober-minded and we have to say, what is it about our churches that is causing this reputation that's largely negative out, out in the world? And, you know, we can't change every church, but what could we do at our church to contribute more on the positive side of the reputation? Because unfortunately, the reputation of the church is closely tied to the reputation of Jesus himself and to God. So that's what I would urge people to do, and, and I know it's not easy, and I know it's not comfortable, and when we talk about these things here at Willow, um, you know, sometimes we disagree. That's okay. That's really good, actually, um, because the, what we're after is the truth that will then set us free, as Bono talked about, and, um, you know, that we can't be afraid of the truth. So let's look at it. Let's have great conversations, and, uh, you know, we may walk out of here with more questions and answers, but that's okay. <laughs>